Swiss offices in Africa. Morning mist over Juba, capital of the world's youngest state. After more than 20 years of civil war, South Sudan obtained its independence on the 9th of July 2011. But peace and stability have not returned with this. Again and again, the country makes the international headlines. Last, in December 2013, when renewed fighting between government and opposition led to deaths and injuries and forced thousands to flee. September 2013, headquarters of UN mission UNMISS on the outskirts of Juba. Since its foundation, the young state is being supported by the UN with a mission. Officers from various countries work side by side at the headquarters. Among them, the Swiss major Ruben Bergert. I'm an information officer and work in the analysis cell at headquarters, known as G2. At the level of UNMIS, we collect information from various sources. We analyze it and decide what implications it has for our mandate. We find out what danger exists for our troops, but also where are we obliged to give the civilian population proactive support or even protection. Major Begert is one of up to eight Swiss officers serving in UNMIS. At the same time, at the other side of the town, Japanese UN soldiers have deployed heavy equipment. Within the context of a civil military project, they are renewing the roads and building drainage systems. Here we meet the Swiss logistics officer, Captain Patrick Benedetto, who quickly clarifies remaining fuel supply issues. Less than 30 minutes later, back at UN Camp Tomping. Together with his civilian colleague, Charles, Captain Benedetto is about to check the fuel tanks he is responsible for throughout the entire area of operations. Directly from the train, it's too close. They cannot come up to the bottom. Quite a challenge with more than 20 locations. We work with both military personnel and civilians to get everyone to adopt the same mental attitude and logical approach, to share their resources and work together. That's the challenge. Like all Swiss officers, Captain Benedetto applied voluntarily for the 12 month mission. We leave Juba and fly to a whale in northern Bar el Ghazir. 7 o'clock in the morning at the UN outpost in Awail. Major Flavio Marchesi prepares himself and the vehicle for today's patrol. As military liaison officer, Major Marchesi is on the road with his team two to five times a week. His duties include finding out the concerns and needs of the population by talking to them. The country is huge and the roads are bad. The patrol will need three hours today to reach the village of Pantau, 40 kilometers away. As military liaison officers, our main task consists in cooperating with the armed forces of South Sudan, SPLA. Today, for instance, we're visiting a village and we'll contact the village chief. In this way, we obtain information on the general situation, but especially on its security aspect. The young state on the equator has more than political problems to contend with. After two decades of civil war, extensive parts of the country are still covered with mines. A latent threat for civilians, even when the weapons are silent. Especially the rural population suffers greatly, as the mines prevent them from using the ground for agriculture and raising livestock. We're on the road, 
on the only asphalt road from Juba to the south. After five hours, we reach our destination, close to the Ugandan border, a minefield at Nimule. Here we meet two Swiss mine action specialists. Humanitarian demining is another aspect of Swiss peace support. I'm an IMSMA officer. In principle, IMSMA is a database, a demining database, that is fed with everything, coordinates what one has found, how many have been found. With this information, maps are made. We are at a field that is being demined by a contracted partner, and I'm now checking whether they're really working with the equipment that they're billing us for. Demining is a really tough job for well-trained specialists. The clearing of this 19 million square meter minefield has been going on since 2012. It is one of seven minefields in this region. The challenges we are facing here, uh, there is high metal contamination around the minefield. Uh, so most of the time, we put aside the metal detector and use excavation with a trowel and it makes our life more difficult. 400 square meters of ground the size of a basketball field are cleared every day. It would take more than 100 years to clear the entire minefield. The Swiss armed forces have been involved in the UN mission in South Sudan with military liaison officers, staff officers and civilian mine action and security sector reform specialists since October 2011 for security and peace.